Okay, so uh, let's say on a nice moderate 20 degrees Celsius day, we are laying railroads in California. Yeah, I know. Um, so the trick is, in, in laying these railroad sections, you have to put them a certain distance apart because, well, if the uh, if they expand, then you need they need to have room for it to expand slightly, right? When it gets hot, we know the metal is going to expand, and uh, it needs to have room to do that. And you can Google images of railroads when they don't take into account the thermal expansion. It's funny. Um, okay, so we know that the temperature, uh, shall we say the initial temperature, the temperature at, we're at is 20 degrees Celsius. Um, let's say that we're gonna, worst case scenario, I don't know what they really do, but let's say that the hottest final temperature we're gonna, we're gonna go for is 60 degrees Celsius, which is like 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So, um, I don't think it's ever been that hot, uh, in California or hopefully anywhere people live. Um, all right, so we'll go with that just to be safe. Uh, we'll say that the sections of railroad are 10 meters long and that they're made of steel with a linear expansion coefficient of 12 times 10 to the negative sixth inverse degrees. Okay, so uh, we just need to plug this information straight into our equation. Um, the change in length that might happen because of this change in temperature will be the initial length, call that initial length, times the linear coefficient times the change in temperature, like that. And that's all we have to do. Um, you may have been thinking that we, because these, these are railroad uh, pieces are all laying next to each other, um, that we might have to double that number or something, but just imagine each one, so I'm saying that this is our delta L. Each one will expand in both directions by half of delta L like that, right? And so will this one, this one, and this one. So they'll expand half delta L on both sides, and one half of delta L plus one half of delta L makes delta L, right? So the, the space between them is does just obey this coefficient, or this um, linear expansion equation. So I guess I could go ahead and plug some numbers in here. We got 10 times 12 times 10 to the negative 6 times uh, the final temperature minus initial temperature makes 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's see, these, uh, this 10 uh, and the, the 10 on there makes this come to 10 to the negative fourth, and we've got 12 times 4 times 10 to the negative fourth, 12 times 4 is 48, so I'm getting 48 times 10 to the negative fourth meters, because that was in meters. Um, or let's see, what can we can we write this in a different way? 4.8 times 10 to the negative third meters, which is um, 4.8 millimeters. Okay, so noticeable size. I think they actually make them uh, get gaps bigger than that. If I can picture a railroad that I've uh, seen. But, or maybe that's right, I don't know. But they would want to make sure that they would work for extreme temperatures that may happen. Otherwise, the railroad could be ruined on a, on a record-breaking hot day. So, uh, just a little application of linear thermal expansion.